Pro 101 MMA, and we had CS MMA 41. And I have Jesse Healy here, the new crowned reality fighting featherweight first featherweight champion for reality fights. You had a uh, that was in, was it November? Uh, when was that? What date? Uh, uh, beginning of January. January, January seventh. Yeah. In a snowstorm. Yes. In a snowstorm. Why is it always been a snow when I'm fighting? Is that what it is? Second time. And we still had a great turnout. A lot of fans come there. So let's 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 talk about that fight because you did win the championship. Let's talk a little bit about how that felt to you and, and a little bit about the fight. Yeah, you know, uh, I've been in the game pretty much since 2007. I started training mixed martial arts just in general, and Naga actually, yeah. Kevin and Joe, um, was the first tournament I ever did in jiu-jitsu. So it's really cool to go from my very first jiu-jitsu tournament. I, you know, I've had some great experiences, by the way, that was my first customer for Brian and everybody. But yeah. from going from Kip and Joe in Connecticut to winning their first FINA ever, like title belt ever, just not from like a weight class, but ever. They never had a FINA belt exactly. no, in general. That's so a that's huge, really cool. huge accomplishment. Oh, so cool. And and it, I mean, you're gonna go back there to defend that belt at some time. Absolutely. And and it's just it's gonna be even better. Hopefully, there's no snow, snowstorm. Let's have it sometime in the summer. Let's have there with people. You know what I mean? So. All right, so now we, you're, you're six and three as a professional women's uh, MMA fighter. What are you What are you looking for now? Like, are you gonna take a little time off? Are you hungry to get back in there and uh, fight for someone else? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm time off. It's never really an option now. It, 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 you know, I remember actually looking at a magazine where I was uh, blue belt, and actually there's like a picture of me in it. It's Cyborg on the back as like I'm oh, the best. Okay. It's 2009, and she was a beast then. Yeah, and I'm the same age as her. So there's no time for time off, but there's always time to get better. Yep. So I'm going to take it one day at a time and just continue to like work on my technique and get better every day that I can, every hour that I can. You know, when the next fight opportunity comes up, you know, based on my coach's decisions, yep. mine, we'll, we'll look into it, but I'm yep. not in any real big rush. I just want to get better. You know, I really awesome. Just get better. Awesome. So that's a great outlook. I'll look. Wait for a fight to come when you're ready. Look for a fight, but I'm sure they're, gonna, they're all going to be looking for you until you go back to that reality fight. So you train for Underdog MMA of Connecticut. You train with uh, the featherweight champion of the world, CES, Matt Bissett. So, how, I mean, he cornered, I don't know if he was at the fight, cornered you, and you and Johnny, Mr. Nice Guy Lopez, who you also train with, who won his belt, uh, defended his title. How's Matt been? Like, how's that training been with him? Like, how, how's, uh, how does Matt, his, his energy feed off to you, to you guys? You know, it's really amazing because you got guys that are really silent, that are behind the scenes, like Russell, who's coach yes. at Underdog MMA, and my, uh, both Russell and Chris, and both my coaches. And then you have like Matt Bissett and me sitting. We're side by side, number one in New England. Matt Bissett and yep. Jesse Williams, female. That's so cool to be just like next to him and knowing that I'm, you know, I'm on the mat with him and I'm working out with him. And he's like, Jess, work on this. And I'm like, thanks, Matt. And it's like, you know, it's really cool to like look at him as a good friend and a training partner, but he's also, I mean, he's Better than me, longer than me. I've been competing at least longer yeah. than me. Uh, he's, he's, he's 20 and 7. He's up there. Yeah, I mean, 20 and 7. I'm not even 20 and close 7. to that. So, and to be able to be here to support him is awesome. And to have him support me at that fight was awesome. He always just has like the right words. He's like, you could just go in and have fun. And I'm like, yeah, what, what am I thinking? Why am I so, you know, he just says the right thing yeah. at the right time. He makes you like not, yeah. you know, you're still in your game, but he takes a little of that edge off and like, right, let's get in there. He's just been in the cage, so he knows how it feels to be in the cage. Yeah. He knows that, you know, you might not have had a bad month that month. Maybe like life hit the wall, you, you know, you lost your car insurance or whatever, but yeah. it's like, it does not matter. When you step in that cage, it's nothing matters. And I really do feel that way when I get in there. So I'm, I'm just glad to have him in my life as a shooting partner and a friend to give me that advice. Awesome. Really cool. and I, think, you know, I want him to smash. Oh uh, yeah, well, we're looking forward to I mean, we'll go to New England and, uh, you know, all our fighters. Um, how do we get in touch with you? Because, you know, there's going to be a lot of media looking out for you and your next fight because uh, you are the champion of reality fight and, and you might have some targets on your back now. That's but, right. And I'm ready. We're, yeah, we love it. We want more women out there and showing their stuff in them and that. So how do we get in touch with you, Jess? Uh, um, so just from a social media standpoint, uh, I have an Instagram. It's Jesse Mealy underscore MMA. There's also Facebook, which is a Facebook profile, Jesse Mealy. 
and Twitter as well, Justin Healy. And, um, you know, Underdog MMA, that's where I train. So anybody that, you know, wanted to get in touch with me or get in fights, Russell Week, Chris Smith, and I to be, you know, I'm pretty much all over Connecticut. And just from a female perspective, it's hard to find MMA training partners and people to work with. So I'm always open to it. And I know there's a lot of girls in Connecticut that are open to, like, doing open mats and just doing sparring, you know? Yeah. Perfect boxing, we yeah. boxing. Anybody. So just, you know, if anybody wants to reach out, we can always work together. Awesome. I mean, if you post something with one, I'll do it. I'll share it for you. Yeah, we'll get more women in the end and we'll, you know, we'll blow the women out of New England out to the rest of the country and show them the way it is. If you think about New England, we got like, what, six or seven states which will break up that, that, uh, California. So yes, we can really exactly. like, help each other. We can be, a, we can be our own, our own world and the end of the that is sweet one. Right. Right. Oh, They're all coming in now. Again. They're all coming in. All right, from Dominico 101 MMA, we're at Twin Rivers Casino, ready for Matt Set to defend his featherweight world title. Carlos, Carlos is fighting for Carlos is fighting to it. Another, another training for us, Matt Carlos. Awesome. Don't so, uh, man. Uh, nine in a row, nine fights in a row. Yeah, yeah, because he's like, he's coming from Miami. Yeah. So, under, so under, we got a lot of underground MMA people out here. It's going to be a great night for you. So, Jesse, thank you so much for giving me a few words. Yeah, thank you for having me. 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 For giving it, uh, give me a few words uh, and enjoy the night. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot.